Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Colors of Science Kitchen. Today our topic is describe how to measure a variety of time intervals using clocks and digital timers. Measurement of time. As a unit of time is seconds, it is a scalar quantity because time has no direction, only half magnitude. The standard for unit of time the seconds is the exact duration of 919263 cycles of the radiation associated with the transition between the two hyperfine levels of the ground state of cesium-133 atom. Cesium-133 or 54 electrons is the systematic configuration of the novel gas. There is a hyperfine splitting of the 6 as electrons level. The frequency is 919263177070 hertz. It happened only one second for this reason. Uh, the second is uh, as a unit, the standard for unit of time. There are different types of clocks we can learn briefly about lot of clock. Atomic clock, the short time intervals about 10 inverse 10 seconds. Digital stopwatch is the short time intervals, minutes and seconds to accuracy of 0 0.01 seconds. There is another stopwatch is a short time intervals of minutes and seconds to an accuracy of 0 point plus minus 0 point 0, 0 point 0.1 seconds. Tika tape timer is a short time intervals 0 point 0.02 seconds. Watch is hours, minutes and seconds is the intervals time. The pendulum clock is longer time intervals, hours, minutes, and seconds. Radio tip decay clock is long time intervals of years to thousands of years. Clocks equipment it can be read in hours, minutes, and seconds. How to use the clock is set to comments at a particular time or the start time noted the time event is then allowed to occur and at the end of the event the end time is noted the difference provides the required time intervals accuracy plus minus one seconds the stopwatch it is up to 0.01 seconds how to use as as the time event occurs the stopwatch is, is started at the same time at the end of the event the stopwatch is stopped and end time is noted the reading provided provides the required time intervals some precise stopwatch is connected electronically to the time event and hence more accurate accuracy plus minus 0 0.1 seconds allowance made to human direction time limits the accuracy of stopwatches to 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 seconds for laboratory experiments a record that show up to two decimal places are not appropriate. In the picture is a digital timer, stopwatch, digital stopwatch uh, is uh, is read its readings is uh, display on the stopwatch uh, one minute fifteen point five nine second. In freshman physics uh, Time will almost always be measured in the seconds. So one plus one minute means sixty, sixty plus sixty second plus fifteen seconds, seventy-five point 
five nine seconds. Ticker tape timer. A ticker tape timer is a machine that produces a dot on a tape at a fixed time intervals. How to use? The tape is attached to an object and the state of motion of the object can be deduced from the doors on the tape. This is the picture of a ticker tape timer. There is a tape. Oh, there is a tape. Oh. On the tape, uh, reads the dot to find out the uh, situation of this movement a body. Reading the tape from Tika tape timer, the procedure to deducing the state of motion from the resulting tape is best explained using example an example. The figure above consists of uh, three tapes X, Y and Z with a longer length of one meter from first dot to the last dot. The dots are made by a ticker tape timer with a time intervals of 0.1 seconds. For X, the dots are evenly spaced. Since the length is 1 meter of first dot and last dot between distance is 1 meter so there is two distance between two dots is 0.2 meters we can calculate the speed of object using speed equal to distance by time so distance uh, distance between two dot is 0.2 meter then it take a time 0.1 seconds so we can find the uh, speed is 2 meter per second hence x represent the tape from an object that is moving at constant speed because there is distance between two doors is same so it's indicate the speed is constant for y y the spacing between the doors increase as a time passes since the doors are made with a fixed time interval the time in the formula above is fixed we will get increasing speed as the distance between the doors increase. Hence, why represent the tape from an object that is accelerating? For di distance between two doors, first two doors is a fewer distance. When time passes, the distance between two doors is increase so for this reason the object that is accelerating is called acceleration because the speed of this object is increasing for this that is object that is accelerating for that the spacing between the dots decreases as the time passes using the same reasoning as above chat represent the tape from an object that is deciliating in the picture jet the two distance between two doors is uh, decreasing respectively for this reason object that is deciliating Thank you for watching and subscribe our YouTube channel College of Science Security.